Okay, guys, ito, ito, ito. So, so just to give an overview to to folks, uh, nung 1970s, nung medyo tayong matapang under a certain Ferdinand Marcos Sr., natakot ang Amerika na we drag them into a conflict, right? So expressly, ang naging position ni Henry Kissinger at uh, Nixon administration was the mutual defense treaty between the Philippines and uh, uh, and the United States should not be essentially abused for self-aggrandizement, for territorial self-aggrandizement by the Philippines. Kaya ang position ng United States from 1970s until you could say Trump administration or Obama administration was strategic in, ambiguity. Na, exactly. Strategic, which is the US doesn't take any position on the sovereignty status of the disputed future. Kaya nung nag, nagsampa tayo ng kaso sa arbitration award, the US said they support that because our arbitration award was not about territorial claims but maritime entitlement claims. So so they still maintained that neutrality position dito sa West Philippine Sea. But of course, things change a little bit during Trump administration, especially when Pompeo came to Manila in March of 2019 when he said any attack on Filipino vessels, warships, aircrafts, and soldiers will automatically activate the Mutual Defense Treaty. A few months later, after the Reed Bank incident, then uh, Ambassador of U.S. Song Kim uh, said that baka kasama na rin yung attack by Chinese militia on Philippine vessels, warships, and all. So the conversation is changing, but this is my problem. The, the, the argument there is the Mutual Defense Treaty applies if there's lethal attack on our personnel. Ang problema ko ngayon is, how do you define lethal? <laughs> Common sense would say barrel, cannon, <laughs> missile. But we have a situation whereby if you look at the PSI, the, 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 the pressure per square inch, nung ginamit nilang huli, of, of course, sabi ni Ronald, maniwala tayo sa China kaya sa mga digong. But in this sense, I rather believe uh, the other side than China, uh, which is napakalakas itong PSI na to. At uh, may mga na-injure. At nakita natin yung footage dun sa mga kapuso natin na talagang uh, tama na Lord. Diba? Nakakatakot eh. Parang ano yun, Noah's, I mean, this was like end of the world yung field, di ba? At the great flood. Sa ibang videos, di ba? Pag tumama sa barko, gumaganon yung barko. At dalawa. Talakas. Dalawang water cannon. At dalawang ginamit. water cannon. Dalawang boats. Exactly. Huh? So Ronald, pag tumama sa isang tao, naalala ko may isang makapili na in-interview sa amin sa One News at uh, sabi na itong makapili, tubig lang yan, huwag kayong mag-drama. Diba? Oo, oh, kilala ko yun, Cementong oh, Lopred. Eh, oh, wala akong sinabi. Wala akong sinabi. <laughs> pag patest natin yan, tignan natin yung reaction. Oo, oh, yung mga host, yung mga na, baka, 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 galit na galit eh. Sinasabi sa kanya. Ay ano, ay ano, di ba yung mga host niya, nagagalit? Ay, ay wala yan, wala. Ay ano, tubig lang <laughs> yan, you're uh-huh. So, Mukhang, this is the strongest ever PSI. So it's not the first time that China has been using water cannon. They have been using this for quite some time. But the w- water pressure is next level ngayon compared to last time. At may injuries na talaga tayo sa ating Philippine Navy. So Ronald and Mark, uh, first, I want, nah, I'll ask you muna, Mark, uh, because anong reaction online? Because I'll tell you, Mark, the last time when I posted something about this, we got a lot of views, like millions and all. Ito yung time, Mark, na... Remember, magbabangga na yung dalawang barko natin tapos naglagay sila ng biglang ano, yung tire, ganun. So parang, ang dating nun is uh, nimble tayo. Parang David tayo. Na madiska. This time, parang medyo kawawang dating, di ba? Na parang may maliit na barko na mukhang luma, tignan, tapos may higante, tapos ginaganyan. I mean, honestly, how did it go down online? Kasi one of the comments uh, that keeps on popping up, uh, Rola, I want to also get your view is, Well, anong ginagawa ni Marcos? Bakit da hindi tayo lumalaban? Diba? Kasi parang mukhang mas kawawa tayo dito sa videos ngayon kaysa some of the previous videos. Kasi grabe, grabe yung water pressure. Tapos ang lit pa nung boat natin. First, Mark, I want to get your point of view in terms of the social media coverage. And then you, Ronald. Then let's talk about the U.S. aspect. Should U.S. move to the next level? Meaning escort us, have a drone there. What are we looking at in terms of options? But first, I want to look at the uh, uh, reaction. Your reaction and reaction online, Mark. Um, hindi. Well, obviously, galit pa rin eh. Kumaga, kumaga, lalong nagagalit, nagagalit yung mga... This is really an issue na mahirap panalunin nung kabilang kampo. ba diba? talagang yung galit ng Pinoy sa ginagawa sa kapwa natin, Pinoy dyan. Talagang hindi mo ma... Kumaga, lalong, lalong umiigting yung, yung sama ng loob ng nararamdaman ng mga Pilipino after watching that. Pero I, I don't know then... If, if it will come to a point na medyo baka magnam na tayo sa ganun, how, how long does it take na bago? ba diba? Parang wag naman sanang umabot sa punta na kailangan meron pang uh, masawi na Pilipino or ano. Pero 
Yun na nga eh. Parang ma- nagiging regular na yung occurrence. Eh. I mean, new normal. Yun ang fear mo. Oo oh, eh. Na parang hindi na, hindi na... Ngayon galit. Pero baka il- makailan pang ganyan. Parang yung mga tao medyo wala nang pakialam eh. Baka it would come to that point na medyo mananam na sila na, na uh, sa ganyang nangyayari. Pero I don't know. Yun nga eh. I'm just worried lang na how far this could escalate eh. Yung nangyayari yun ngayon. Tingin ko baka hindi naman. Dahil una, nagsisimula pa lang. No? Uh, ikalawa, ay uh, sa tulong ng social media. No? Merong yung galit na yan, yung, uh, uh, nag, ch- nag-channel siya sa isang bagong uri ng patriotism. No? Uh, yan yung kwan. At dahil nagsisimula pa lang, uh, yung gestation period ay eh, medyo matagal pa. No? Ibig sabihin, magpapatuloy pa yan. No? Uh, pero yung sinasabi mo, na sana hindi naman dumala. Yun din ang concern ko. Dahil noong 1980s, nangyari yan sa Spratlys eh. Minasaker yung mga Vietnamese sailors. Yung no? Johnson South Reef. Uh, Johnson oh, South Reef. Uh, yeah. Mahigit pitong po yung patay. No? 1988. Ayaw ko mangyari yan. No? Ang kaibahan kasi noon sa Vietnam, wala silang mutual defense treaty sa US. Tayo meron eh. So pwede mag-scale up yan into a bigger conflict. no Dahil uh, katabi lang natin yung uh, another possible conflict sa Taiwan. Tapos mangyayari pa sa atin yung ganyang klase na pwedeng lumala. At ang kaibahan, may MDT. No? May MDT, may Mutual Defense. Ayaw naman natin na magkaroon ng gera dito sa ating bakuran. Kaya ako, for now, ang pinakamaganda pa rin ay imbis na makipag-water cannon tayo sa isa't isa, no? na wala namang laban yung ating uh, host, yung ating host laban sa water cannon nila, no? ay uh, i-weather the storm pa rin natin. At gamitin natin yan uh, to inform the Filipino people dahil meron pa rin mga Pilipino na hindi nauunawaan yung West Philippine Sea issue. Na yung West Philippine Sea ay mas malaki pa sa ating landmass. Na yung West Philippine Sea ay mas mayaman pa sa ating landmass. No? Kaya ang nakataya rito yung kinabukasan ng ating mga future generation. Uh, marami pa rin Pilipino hindi nauunawaan yung ating victory sa unclos. No? Kanina lang eh, si Bobby Tiglaw eh. Yung title ng kanyang column sa Manila Times eh, no? Yung uh, unclos victory daw, yung unclos na nangyari, ang pinapaburan China. Imagine mo yun, ha? <laughs> ha? Mm. And marami din Pinoy, hindi aware yung layo ng Ayungin Shoal sa China kumpara nung lapit nun sa Palawan. 1,140 kilometers. Oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, siguro, Richard, ang effect, ang effect lang sa online, it's getting harder for the pro-Chinese vloggers to defend yung kanilang defend. So that's one one thing that is happening here pagdating dyan sa ano. May, may gusto lang din ako itanong, uh, Richard. Um, is it possible na a war could start there na ano? Uh, Is it more likely there or more likely sa Taiwan? Saan mas likely? Pero Mark, kasi dikit na lahat eh. So now all of this is seen as in one integrated theater. So hindi mo na ma-separate yung nangyari sa Taiwan sa South China Sea. Uh, first, nag-start yan sa part ng China, right? Because remember, katabi, I mean, ka, sa rear ng China, ang, ang Taiwan, sorry, ang South China Sea. So there's no way for China to secure Taiwan down the road if it doesn't dominate South China Sea. So dikit lahat yan. Lalong naging dikit dahil yung pumasok yung EDCA, right? Na may US din na counter movement. So now, suddenly, all of them... And I'll also tell you another thing. Yung mga barko na dati nakikita namin sa may Taiwan, ng China, ngayon nandito na sila sa West Philippine Sea. So it looks like the theater has suddenly become integrated. But but Mark, going back to this, um, yung sinasabi ni Ronald na nangyari sa, sa Vietnam, there's actually a term for that, short, sharp war. Short, sharp war. Meaning, may silang patayan pero hindi ganoon kadami no so it's it's not gray zone it's something else it's deadly but at a certain calibrated level parang yung idea is that i'll give you a bloody nose i'll remind you who's the boss pero hindi kita papatayin then we know what's going on so ginawa nila yan sa vietnam at recently medyo nangyari sa himalayas with india right nagsuntoan sila nag uh, hindi naman barilan pero uh, they did fist fight may mga patay may mga exactly at injuries that was pretty bloody which actually proves Ronald's point kung titingnan mo ang Pilipinas mas mahina tayo sa India ng malayo at mas mahina din tayo sa Vietnam i think the only reason why hindi tayo ginagano ng China so far so far is because of the US aspect so yung mga nagsabi na walang kwentang US anong silbe ng US i'm not defending US we'll talk about the problems with the US is that Perhaps the only reason why hindi tayo ginugulpi pa rin is because they're worried na papasok ang US. 
But this is where hmm. Ronald, I want to ask you and Mark because ang problema kasi ng US ngayon is of course, naintindihan nila na ang Pilipinas ayon natin uh, na ang dating sa atin is parang banana republic or satellite state ng US. So it's very important for us to show we can do it on our own. At hindi naman yun yung pinakamaganda natin barko. Sa pagkaalam ko, yung mas maganda pa tayong mga barko. Medyo gumaganda ng Coast Guard. Um, so the dilemma right now, isn't it? The dilemma is how can US be helpful without looking patronizing or making us look weak, right? I mean, medyo, medyo mahirap yan eh. But I think at the very least, we have to seriously discuss how can we coordinate things not only with US but also with Japan. India was also here recently to make China think twice even before using water cannon. Kasi grabe na ito, di ba? Kailangan ba natin na mas malalaking barko, na may, may mga drones ng mga aliado natin, na may patrols? I mean, what are we looking at here, Ronald? What is your understanding? And what are the risks? Kasi there's no there's no perfect solution here. Talagang well, uh, we, we just well, have to my, hold our line. Eh? Oh. From my vantage point, kahit uh, may mga public statements ang US, ang Australia, uh, ang uh, Japan, no? Uh, tungkol dito sa nangyari, Ah, uh, uh, ko ay uh, ayaw pa rin ng mga bansa na yan na mag-escalate out of control yung mga tensions na yan, no? Uh, partly dahil naka-stretch to thinly pa rin ang US around the world, no? Partly dahil yung kanila mga EDCA sites ay wala pang laman, no? Ah, uh, uh, partly meron silang parating na election sa November. No. So maraming partly. No. Kaya in the immediate, duda ako kung yan ay uh, papayagang mag-escalate. No. Pero ang problema, wars happen because of accidents. Eh. No? Yeah, may, you sleepwalk. You sleepwalk. Oh, may isang may nagkamali ng pindot. May isang uh, yung bangga ay nahati yung barko. No? Lumubog. No? Uh, kaya uh, yan yung problema. If there are too many... Uh, warships in one area. Halimbawa, next month, may balikatan with with the French. no? <laughs> Kasama natin yung France dito sa balikatan na ito. So, uh, yan yung delikado. No? Uh, tingin ko naman may mga saner heads na na nagkakalculate, nagkakalibrate, at umiiwas dyan. Pero again, uh wars start because of accidents yeah this is the this is this is the fear no na na no that we will sleepwalk into conflict even uh -huh. if all of us are just posturing him nagpapakitang gilas nagfo-flex lang tayo next thing you know yes. nabangga yung isa yung isa sumagot next thing you yes. know yes. pero, but, pero 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 hmm. pero halimbawa yung last year yung ating coast guard no nagbo-volunteer yung uh, mga senador na maglagay ng budget para magpatayo ng structures doon sabi ng uh, ating uh, ng ating gobyerno, sabi ng ating defense, uh, hindi kailangan. Hindi kailangan. Uh, kailangan na namin uh, palakasin yung BRP Sierra Madre. So meron namang mga ganon. Ikalawa, may nagsabi sa Coast Guard, right. the US, we will escort yung inyong resupply. Sabi nila, hindi. Kami ang gagawa. Exactly. Hindi dapat tayo nag-rely directly. Uh, uh, may sarili. No? Yeah. Yung part. So meron namang ganong uh, assertion tayo. No? Ngayon, nagagalit ang China na bakit may mga media bakit may bakit pinapakita sa buong mundo itong nangyayari? Hello, <laughs> no, hello. <laughs> That's exactly the point. That's exactly political judo. That's exactly the essence of David versus Goliath, 'di ba? Na ipakita sa mundo yung pambubuli ng China. Ipakita oh. sa mundo itong dangerous aggression na ito, no? Uh, kaya galit na, pa oh. mo, galit na galit ang China. Galit na galit hmm. sila. Dahil may media, no? Yun ang galit nila, yung media. Kaya CNN, ngayon, may ano. Kaya ngayon, ang galit nila sa media na direktor daw yung video. <laughs> no? Doon ang galit nila. Ay, desperate Kaya na rin sila. Naman, oh, medyo desperate na rin sila. Kaya naman yung, ano, yung impact sa mundo. Diba? May nakita akong isang parang poster hashtag na parang China is the Russia of Asia, something like that. So, medyo ganun ang dating na bully. Just, ano, eh, ikaw, yeah. what is your read on this in terms of, well, I mean, you're, I don't know, even, pedestrian understanding of the US. May, may, may tanong din ako eh. Kasi yung siyempre ang ginagamit na narrative ng mga pro-Chinese na mga vloggers is guerra, guerra, Ukraine, ganun. Pero I think nasa dulo pa yan eh. Pero ang nako-concern din ako is how, how far does it escalate before we, for example, economic sanctions. Before we abot sa punto na we have to cut off ties with Beijing. Papauwiin natin yung ambasador nila. Uuwi yung ambasador dito. Uh, do you see that 
as a possibility in the in, in the next few months years na yes, how this yeah tama yung, yan yung, I mean, yung, 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 yung sa ambassador kasi usually nang nangyayari yan before a war no or during a war no kaya medyo may mga protocols diyan no tungkol diyan dahil papa ipapabalik na rin natin papabalik na rin nila yung ating ambassador sa China ikalawa yung economic mas complicated yan dahil mas nakikinabang ang China sa atin no in terms of uh, trade right. no kaya uh, tapos, not the other way around uh, Ronald, yung, uh, ako, ano, eh, tayo yung uh, di ba sila yung uh, largest uh, ang sa atin yeah, tayo malaking market sa kanila but, but uh, Ronald uh, we have to emphasize nickel a lot of strategic minerals they're getting from the Philippines including where I come from Cordillera so actually we're very strategically important to China kung wala sila yes. access dun sa mga ibang minerals natin good luck yes, sa kanila yes yes pero oh, basta naririnig ko yung mga saging from Davao, yung mga kumbaga ano eh maraming exporter ang magugulo. Ah, lang, ibenta mo na sa Japan, oh, bibili lang oh. naman Japan. Hindi, hindi, hindi ganoon ka significant. Ang kawawa diyan SM, oh. 'di ba? Kasi oh, ang laki yung SM ng tsaka Divisoria. Oh, medyo so, yung SM, mga Divisoria baklaran. No, yes. Yeah. Pero sa ngayon kasi, hindi ka na mag-diversify eh. No? Ah, uh, yan din yung sitwasyon ng US dati. Napaka-dependent sa China sa cheap products, 'di ba? Mm. Uh, pag titingnan mo yung mga malls ng US, puro made in China or made in Mexico eh. Pero nakapag-diversify na sila ngayon, away from China. Kaya yeah, made no? in Vietnam. Uh, oh, Vietnam. Yeah, made in Vietnam. Yung Australia din, di ba? Yung Australia, India, 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 India. Oh. So nakapag-diversify na sila. Tayo ang hindi pa. No? Should it be start na? No, I definitely. think... I think slowly the diversification has been happening. Actually, Ronald, it's sa ASEAN tayo mga least dependent sa China. Kumpara sa mga ibang okay. neighbors na our neighbors have big projects with China. So, kaya medyo naintindihan ko rin na ipit sila na medyo duwag-duwagan yung iba. Is because ang laki ng stake. Sa atin kasi halos walang investment ng China. Salamat kay Digong, wala siyang nakuha ang malaking investment sa China. <laughs> so, trade-trade lang naman yun eh. Ang trade naman madali. Ang mas mahirap investment eh. Kasi pumasok yung pera. Yung trade, ano yun eh, barter lang yan. So, bibili ka sa kabila. Bili ka sa Vietnam. Bili ka sa Thailand. Hindi, I mean, yung mga binibili natin sa China, pwede naman natin bilhin sa'yo. Hindi, hindi, I mean, hindi naman tayo makamatay kung hindi tayo bumili ng mga SM products. Di ba? I mean, no. Right? Pero, di ba? Kung rice yan, bigas yan, sa Vietnam tayo bumibili. And 90% is Vietnam. So, hmm. actually, in terms of strategic minerals and all, mas, tama si Ronald, mas kailangan tayo ng China. Eh. It's not just trade volume. Eh. It's like trade content you have to look at. So, kaya nga, strategy ngayon is yung tinatawag na the risk. So you diversify, you don't allow your strategic sectors. So actually, Philippines is relatively well positioned because halos walang mat- right. mat- investment ng China sa atin. Oh, last <laughs> <laughs> yun, ang, yung, yun ang hindi ko alam. Yung kagandaan na, na, ni Digong na wala siya nakuha matinong investment. Tuloy, hindi na tayo. Yung mga right? pogo. Eh, paano yung mga pogo? <laughs> Ayan, yan ang mga delikado ngayon. Delikado sila ngayon, yung mga pogo. Di ba? Kita mo yung mga memes. Bakit yung mga China sa China, ang guwapo yung mga China. Pero yung mga China sa pogo, ano na kailangan yung mga meme na yan? Ang sama nila. Yung China sa pogo, ganyan. Pero yung China ng China, ang guwapo. Mukhang BTS, di ba? And, and I think... And so, so, yun yung natatong ko ni Chai. How far does this escalate before it reaches dun sa point na economic na... That, kumbaga, they will try to punish us economically. They will try to... How far does this need to escalate kaya? I think, Marga, a lot of this is just psychological warfare. I, I, I don't think China is like Russia. Again. Ang kailangan lang talaga natin dito is gawin natin yung dapat ginawa natin nung panahon ni Digong, which is yung ginawa ng Malaysia. Di ba? Nag-drill sila kahit sabi ng no ng China, go pa rin sila. Hanggang sabi ng China, apa, mukhang palaban to mga Malaysians. Doon naman sa Indonesia, binubuli nila sa North Natuna si pumunta si Jokowi, no compromise, nagpadala ng F-16 fighters. Medyo na pagganan. So actually, you look at Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia, all of our neighbors, dahil lumaban sila sa China, they got China's respect. Ganun naman eh. Yung medyo bully, how do you get their respect? You show a bit of strength. Eh, mautak naman ng China, in fairness naman to China, they're not like... Parang, you call their bluff, parang ganun eh. Parang... Exactly. Ang problema, anong ginawa ni Digong for six years? Yes, boss. Yes, sir. I love you. You protect me. So nasanay ang China na ganyan lang tayo. So ngayon na biglang lumaban tayo, ang sabi ng China, aba, 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 aba. So, malaban ka sa akin ngayon na. So, dapat pakita natin na hindi ka hindi ito ababa. Ito yung katotohanan. Si Digong yung ababa. So, I think this is the this is the strategy we should do. Kaya, as much as... Just hold the line. Hold the line and and not panic. And then, of course, behind the scenes, there should be diplomacy. Talagang our diplomacy behind the scenes. Tell China, 
there's no way BBM is gonna back off sa West Philippine Sea without losing his own position, di ba? Kasi buong bansa natin, except yung mga makapili, 3% na lang yata sila, <laughs> they all want us to take a decent stance. Kasi gets na nila, mali talaga yung strategy ni Digong eh. It never helped our national interest. And lahat tayo sa media, lahat tayo sa ano, we're all on the side of assertion eh. So, so it's 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 really not up to BBM. So I don't know what China is trying to do. So this is where diplomacy matters behind the scene and what's happening there. But but I think this would be a perfect um segue to our last episode. Pag-usapan konti natin ang opposition. And I think the West Philippines issue could be a big issue in 2025 elections. Let's talk about how the opposition can approach the West Philippines issue as a rallying point or could it even be a rallying point for the next elections? Maraming salamat, gentlemen, for for that. Uh, we have more than 1,000, almost 1,000 live on YouTube lang na nandun sa atin. So mukhang may sense tayo sinasabi at 11 p.m. Nakikinig pa rin sila sa atin. So, thank you so much for this very lively discussion. And continue natin ito sa penultimate episode natin for the month of March. No, uh, Pag-usapan naman natin, what are the things happening in March? Let's be honest, Mark, pag-usapan ni Ronald anong nangyari sa opposition at mag-react tayo. Thank you very much, gentlemen.